Hello and welcome to my book review. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Alana Gray and today I am discussing Steve Shenkin's novel, uh, Bomb, The Race to Build and Steal the World's Most Dangerous Weapon. So, to begin, this novel is a nonfiction story that goes through the development of the first atomic bomb during World War II. This story takes place in the 1930s and the 1940s during the events of World War II and um, the setting primarily focuses on the United States, but also Los Alamos and New Mexico, where the bomb was actually created. So, this book does not actually include traditional characters the way it, uh, a novel would, but the book does concentrate on a number of historical people that played important roles during these events. So, key individuals include Robert Oppenheimer, Leslie Groves, Harry Truman, Richard Fenman, and President Roosevelt. Um, to talk about Shenkin's writing, I would say it's very engaging, um, fast paced. He makes complex scientific concepts a little easier to understand for, um, younger, um, audiences. Um, in this novel, he uses, um, a variety of sources. So he has, um... This includes interviews with key players of those I previously mentioned, um, declassified documents, um, and detailed accounts of the events leading up to the development of the bomb. So there's a lot of information in this novel. Um, the book is basically divided into three parts, each one focusing on a different aspect of the atomic bomb's creation. So. The first part introduces key players, as I mentioned, um, scientists, including um, Albert Einstein, Enrico Fermi, and Robert Oppenheimer. The second part describes the scientific breakthroughs that they made. Um, this includes nuclear fission, which is very important in the making of the atomic bomb. The final part recounts um, other events that lead up to the bombing of Hiroshima in Nagasaki and includes the aftermath of these bombings. Um, one significant passage that this book has is um, the first successful test of the atomic bomb. So this is vividly portrayed in the book. Um, I'd say it gives um, a deep insight as to the amount of power the bomb has and the uncertainty it actually has for the future. Um, which scared a lot of people. Um, but I think this novel is very intriguing and well-written. Um, I think it's really interesting to learn about the science behind the making of the bomb, even though you're, if, even though if you're not very familiar with um, science in general, but like chemistry and all that, it's it's pretty interesting to learn about how they figured all that out at this time. Um, I think this is also very, can be in a very emotional read, um, just because towards the end when we can see the destruction of um, these cities and the amount of um, demolish that these this bomb had, um, but I think an important message in this novel is that fear can motivate. And I think we can see this uh, being portrayed, especially with Robert Oppenheimer, um, who heavily contributed to this project as a scientist. Um, he felt he had a duty to complete. Um, and he it mentions that, you know, he's scared, just like everyone else is, that Germany is going to use this atomic bomb on the United States before before they could build it and then find a way to defend themselves with it. So I think this is a very um, important motivational factor within this time. Um, overall, I would highly recommend this book um, for anyone who's interested in history, science, war. Um, I think it's a great way to learn some major historical events that has happened. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching my review of Bomb, and I hope that you consider this book for your next read.